No. Bye. Noodles going in. Heaping cup of mayo going in. Tablespoon of spicy brown mustard. 12 ounces of drained tuna fish. One cup of chopped celery and white onion. Half a cup of scallions. Salt, more salt. Fresh cracked black pepper. And now we stir. Coated very nicely. A little more salt, a little more cracked black. And I'm gonna let this chill 45 minutes in the refrigerator. Oh yeah, right down memory lane with the tuna mac salad pasta. Why did I make this? Was this a donation? Well, I made it because I talked about how my mom used to make this tuna pasta salad when I was a kid, and I thought it was amazing, and I've never had it. I mentioned that in a video, and then Nathan Peterson, let's clap for him, said, you know what, Sean, here's some money to make it. He said my mom made almost the exact same thing except with elbow mac, and she would dice up some Velveeta cheese in it. Mmm! Good memories. Oh, and it's probably mayonnaise, not Miracle Whip. Have a good week. You're right, I confirm with Debbie Ely. She said it is indeed mayonnaise. I'm gonna eat you guys. And as you guys saw, this is incredibly easy to make. I just have never made it since... I've never made it. <laughs> my mom would do this. It was always in the fridge for a quick snack. We'd eat it cold, and it was fantastic. And it's really nice to kind of make it for myself, for this channel, for you guys, for all of us, for myself and you. A little more salt. <laughs> you knew it was coming. It smells like somebody heated up tuna during like lunch in the office. Thank you to Nathan for making this possible, and thank you to all of you guys, 10,000 subscribers. This is 10K week, so we're doing giveaways yesterday. I said all you gotta do is comment a question, and you're automatically in the running to win a bottle of City Heat by City Boy Barbecue in LA. I'll send it to you. Well, they will, I'll buy it. They'll, you get it. Are we having fun yet? <laughs> We'll get into some questions here, and then anybody can also drop another question on this video, and we'll do another giveaway tomorrow. Different prize. Tomorrow's video, first of all, look, look oh no, I've gone cross-eyed. Oh no, I've gone cross-eyed. Look how good this looks. You guys like, I mean, some people are gonna be like, tuna, gross, but I, this is the Debbie special. Tomorrow's prize, by the way, is my favorite hot sauce in the world. Not Sixer sauce, not trough. It's actually from Puerto Rico. And if you saw my video of me devouring it, I immediately had to partner with them to do a giveaway. So they're gonna fulfill three orders. Three people winning tomorrow, just on questions. So submit something. Let's do this first. Little things in life to me are more special than like nostalgic foods. This is not gonna be for everybody, but my mom would make this and it was such a happy place when there was a fresh batch in the fridge. It's creamy and salty and crunchy. As a kid, I would always eat around the celery and the onions, I hated that. <laughs> we got better. I think as a kid, I thought this was healthy. <laughs> it's really good. What was that? Say it again. Say it, say it one more time. You look like Cindy Lou Who. My hair's wet. It's really good. There it is. I really like the crunch of the onion. Mm-hmm. She never had it. I haven't. I just don't like the smell of tuna. I know, it's a bummer. <laughs> but like the seasoning's really good. It's really good. Thanks for making me lunch. You're very welcome. I'll drop the recipe to this stuff below of what I did exactly with all the portions and you guys can make this as well. And then when you take a photo of it, because you're gonna be enamored by it, tag me in it. Mmm, so good. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Question one, how long does it take to make and edit one of your videos? Anywhere between two and a half and five hours. If it's something really quick and easy and not a lot of ingredients, boom, bam, boom, done. Sometimes I have to drive to like Oak Park or 
Elmwood Park. Why are all the places far away got park in the name? Sometimes they'll add more drone footage and tons of GoPro angles, like a certain video you might have watched today. So that'll be on the higher end. So yeah, two and a half to five. How many calories a day do you try to adhere to? Weekdays, traditionally under 2,200. Weekends, no more than 3,000. <laughs> I don't count calories, but I did like study nutrition in college and I kind of know like the average calorie for the stuff I'm eating. And my body definitely knows when I'm hitting the max. So I try to work out five to six days a week, do some sort of like exercise. But the fun days can sometimes add up. And then you realize you gotta eat less for a few days. <laughs> we want some wallet size pictures too. This kid won't fit in a wallet size. Does it look as good on that camera angle as I think it does? It's kind of got like cool shadows. Who am I? Favorite food related TV show ever? Diners, Drive Ins, and Dives? Do you agree? Yes. Diners, Drive Ins, and Dives, the original Man vs. Food. And then Allie and I years ago got really into Canadian Chopped, which I thought was way better <laughs> than the American. If anybody tries to mess with me in the competition, they will be very sorry. Oh, it's hot in here. So I'd say Triple D is probably my number one slot, though it's so consistent. You can binge watch it. It's timeless. It's a lot like my show. It's great. These are all random, by the way. I don't know which ones are popping up next. Is Lionel gonna be part of the wedding ceremony? Please? <laughs> Unfortunately, he will not be, which is a huge bummer. We're getting married in Montana, near Glacier National Park. So we're gonna be having someone watch him when we're gone, and we're gonna be gone for like two weeks. So unfortunately, Lionel will not be there, but we'll FaceTime him like at this reception or something. What's one skill, hobby, et cetera, that you want to or are actually planning to learn next? Photography. I've talked about this for a while and I've started to kind of like slowly learn it a little bit better, but I wanna like actually be trained as a photographer and like know what I'm talking about. The video stuff, YouTube, I think I've got that down pretty well, but I wanna like be a better photographer. That is a skill that goes so far in my field. So I wanna kinda just sit down and really learn the true basics. Like if you went to cooking school, you can be a chef but like if you have like the background and the training, those are good tent poles, you're on another level. So, photography. These are really good questions. How does it feel knowing that your videos are uplifting to others? And I this is one thing over the past year and a half that I definitely did not expect. The sheer amount of people that reach out to me personally or in the comments and say how much this show means to them and how much has become a part of like their daily lives. It's gotten them out of ruts. I email back and forth with a lot of you guys. To answer your question, it means the world that anyone cares. I have this kind of like 1500 person little room that watches my videos every time I upload it. And everybody kind of knows each other and comments. Yes, viral videos are awesome. More people get to know you, you make more money. But this little foundation of a community here is very positive and I love that. Well, I guess it's official. Yeah, it is, Garth. I really wasn't sure about this at the start. What are your favorite side dishes to have with a steak? Potatoes. I'd say my top is like a crispy, seasoned, roasted potato. And then second will probably be a corn on the cob, like an ear of corn, because I like to be able to like take a break from the steak, put the fork down, eat, <laughs> and then go back to it. I like the back and forth of that. Have you ever considered moving to a new city or state, or do you find that Chicago is where your heart is and where you'll always live? Can you go into detail about your decision? <laughs> What a loaded question. <laughs> Allie really wants to move to suburban Iowa. Not if you paid. <laughs> Before we get into this, a little older palette now, I'm gonna do a little bit of the Aleppo Turkish chili pepper, even better than crushed red. So I'm pretty much in the exact same spot as I was last year when I answered this question when I first did like an AMA. I love Chicago, can definitely see myself buying a place with Allie and living here near downtown for a long, long time. Definitely open to opportunities if they present themselves. Not against leaving, but not just gonna like leave for the sake of leaving. We get married in August, so then we have to really figure out like, all right, what do we wanna do professionally? Where do we kind of want to be? What does the next five, 10 years look like? So with everything leading up to the wedding, it's kind of like crunch time right now for that stuff. We got a ton of travel. So as of right now, definitely living in Chicago for at least another year or two before we probably make any serious decision on that. But you know, if somebody calls and goes, hey, we have this insane opportunity for you on camera in New York or LA or San Francisco, I'm not gonna go, no thanks. I'm gonna like listen to them. So does that make sense? I know you're a sports guy. What's your favorite hockey team? The Detroit Red Wings, followed by the Michigan State Spartans. I know I live in Chicago, but I have not adopted any of their sports teams other than really Cubs the last year or two because they never play the Tigers and I doubt they'll ever be in the World Series against them as long as I live. I'd love it, but 
I'm a Detroit kid. Through and through, Sports Allegiance, Red Wings all day. Hockey town, the real hockey town. Mike Vernon with a great left, follows up with the right. Have you ever tried Canadian Kraft dinner? I don't think I have. I don't think I have. You are what you eat. You gotta be KD. I know that's like Canada's version of Kraft Mac and Cheese. I'd love to. That'd be a fun side by side. I'm sure it already exists on the internet five million times, but I would love to do it for the vlog. Where do you find your awesome music that you use for your openers? Artlist.io, Epidemic Sound, and then I scour SoundCloud for like beats, DJs, and different things like that. Artists who allow you to use their music um, in vlogs and things like that. So, but Artlist and Epidemic Sound are both like monthly subscriptions where you can use unlimited music. So I use a lot of Artlist.io recently. Sean, asked but not answered. What happened to the notebook? You never got my letters? I wrote you every day for a year. It wasn't over for me. I waited for you. I wrote you every day for a year. It's right, it's right here. I still have it. I bang, when I first started this vlog, I would have like, I'd be 40 or 50 donation videos out at all times, and I had it all in here. Once I started like doing a little bit less of these because they got so overbearing, I'd always have like about seven or eight, and I would put those in my planner. But the notebook is here. So if the donations really start to pick up and I gotta make stuff, we're gonna bust out the hamburger notebook once again. And there's plenty of uh, plenty of pages. So Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, if this show means something to you. Or don't, dude, whatever. Here's my question. What is your all-time favorite sauce slash condiment? This might surprise you, spicy mustard. I love hot sauce and I love mustard and the fact that like spicy hot sauce mustard exists is my current favorite. A bunch of different ones make it very, very well. Double take Scotch Bonnet was the one that really got me into it. Like spicy brown mustards aren't enough spice for me because I'd always end up adding like more spice into it. But a true spicy mustard hot sauce is my number one. It's gotta be thick consistency and it has to really go, bang my elbow, to Mustard Town. It needs to be in Tang Town. Tang for days. I hate so many of the words you just used. All right, we'll do like two more. You gotta make this. What was your go-to snack after school? Mine was hands down a PB and J. It's a great question. We were a big snack family, so we wouldn't go home and like polish off another sandwich that I had like from lunchtime. We'd eat like munchos, potato chips, big fan. My mom would always melt American cheese and a white tortilla in the microwave, but like she knew the setting perfectly where it was like soft throughout and not too hot and she'd salt and pepper the top of it. <laughs> like basically a poor person's quesadilla, but I remember that's another food that is so nostalgic that I could do on here, but it'd probably be pretty boring. Just a literally a big tortilla and they would roll. Like it was basically like a cheesy roll up. Those were also Nostalgic kitchen, my dudes. Who would play Rory Boyle in the Sean Ely cinematic universe? I don't know why like TJ Miller's coming to mind. Like he's got the like, kind of that demeanor a little bit. He could play that range. Uh, recently I threw up on the street in Washington DC. That's exciting, right? Our nation's capital. I'll go TJ Miller. And the last question of today I'm gonna do, my question is dot, 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 dot. Does pineapple belong on a pizza? Yes. Definitely not my favorite thing, but I don't mind it tall, tall. Uh, I know that's very polarizing. I did a video really early in doing this vlog where I had one of the most iconic tavern style pizzas here in Chicago and I got pineapple on it. A lot of people watched it and I realized even more so that when it's done right, it's good. I don't really love like Domino's doing a Hawaiian, but I like like a pizzeria doing one. I think I did this as a kid too where I'd put way too many noodles on one fork. Instead of eating slowly and like, I'd be like, all right, let's move this delicious tuna pasta mac salad. I put everybody uh, that asked a question, how can we all see this? In this wheel right here on nameofwheels.com. Whoever this lands on will win a bottle of mild or spicy City Boy Barbecue. Just email me at heysaunealy at gmail.com. We'll sync up, we'll be best friends, and you'll be one sauce richer. Here we go. Kevin Kreiner, there we go. Kevin, congratulations my friend. Long time watcher, first time caller. No, he comments all the time. Uh, Kevin, thank you so much. Uh, if you guys wanna get in on the running tomorrow in that video, drop another question on this video. Ask me anything.
And uh, as always, the Venmo, the Cash App, the PayPal, if you want to help out the vlog. We have a fun three banger tomorrow, like I said. So three different sauces, the same sauce, three times, the three different people will be awarded because of your loyalty to this vlog. Kevin, nice job today. You really give 110%. You give 110%. Well, you know, you go out there and you just give 110%. And uh, you hope you play good. Mm -hmm. And you want to play good. If you've got something you want to see me eat, you can also donate for that. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the next one. Debbie's. Tuna Mac Salad. Up. Debbie's. That's my mom's name. Tuna Mac Salad. Down. Hey. Be good to each other. Huh?